Hey everybody, welcome to Southern Style Podcast, episode number two. Big number dose. I'm Dennis. And, and I'm Zach. Together we're DNZ Outdoors. And today we have a topic that's I don't icky. like to talk about. Yucky. Snakes. Snakes are the bane of our existence in the South, and it's something that everybody, across the Southeast, everybody has to deal with snakes of some sort, and they're just terrible. It would be the best summer ever if I went all summer not seeing one. Even even people talking about it on Facebook grosses me out. I I hate them. I don't even want to see one. Uh, Yeah, just a reminder, if you're outside, your kids, check all the toys and everything before they go play on them, because, man, I've been seeing some pictures lately of copperheads up in... Baby toys, people's shoes. Yeah. Don't leave your shoes outside. Yeah. And, uh, man, it's just horrible. It's awful. It is. I can't stand them. I've had so many post calls with snakes that ain't even funny. Man. Yeah. And, and I, I wanted to, I want to kind of get into some of our snake stories because it, they're, we've got several. Man, and, I'll tell you, uh, snakes make me speak in a whole nother language. Bad one. Yeah. yeah. I don't like them. Snake, oh gosh, I just can't, I can't hardly even talk about it. Mm-hmm. I guess the first real bad snake experience that really sticks out of my brain, in my brain is at the old house, that rattlesnake we had in the yard. Yeah. That was, oh, I hate, rattlesnakes are the, are the daddy mm-hmm. of all of our snakes around here. And that one was a big one, it was what, five feet probably? Five, five and a half feet, had ten right in the button. Yeah, massive snake. Almost yeah. had our cat. Yeah, our cat Tippy, who was just a hero. Yeah, he was a hero of the day. And uh, he Tippy had done had him hypnotized or whatever, mesmerized, whatever cats do with snakes. And, mm-hmm. and the snake wasn't happy at all with Tippy. No. And uh, then I unleashed Remington on him. Put the eleven hundred on him a couple of. Uh, Double lock buckshot. He couldn't handle it. Yeah, that ended him. Yeah. But you know, even after you shot him, he was. Oh, you he's know, still clearly dead. No hand, he still freaks yeah. me out. I can't stand. I mean, he was still popping at us and everything. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah. Luckily, at our ha- uh, at the house we're at now, we hadn't had uh, hadn't had any rattlesnake run in. No, I had a uh, matter of fact, the only poisonous snake I've seen there was a copperhead. Yeah. Which I almost stepped on him. But uh, uh, yeah, I just uh. uh. Yeah, going to work for daylight one morning. Yeah, it makes me just have them. Makes me want hands. Do, mm. yeah, snake hands, not jazz hands. Not jazz snake hands, hands, snake hands. Yeah. I can't handle them. No, I just. Uh-uh. I run over. I want to run over one on the road the other day. It. Wait. If you're a snake lover and you're watching this video, you're not. Gonna first like of all, shame on you. Yeah. And then it, you're not gonna like our takes on snakes. No, snakes to me are just. They're. Uh, just they have to be them. killed. The only snake we'll leave around is a king snake, and he better have a big crown. Yep. Because I, uh, I can't handle them. Now, if they're off somewhere, you know, away from me, I'll, yeah. I, you know, that, that's a different story. That means I get a gun with a scope. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they in the yard, they ain't got the goat. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mother's Day last year, we had that water snake in the yard, and that was oh, the yeah. biggest water Probably snake I'd ever seen. Snake. It really was. And I wasted a half a box of bullets on that dude trying yeah. to find him, trying to shoot him. Yeah, shot holes all in the house, everywhere else. Not in the house. Well, the I know. Skirt. <laughs> Sounded good. Yeah. He's right up, right up on the side of the house. Yeah. Well, we had I some collateral damage. I'm going to be honest. I don't even like talking about snakes on this podcast. Yeah. Think like beetle juice, but I it three times <laughs> once it's going to appear. Yeah. We were right behind, or right in front of a big wood line, and y'all... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. I think I see one in that window behind you now. <laughs> Make it come up out of here. Yeah. Like the day the squirrel went berserk. Ooh. I can't... Oh, yeah. I just... The snakes are yucky. snake comes up here, we're just going to have to do away with this whole recording, yeah. because there's going to be stuff said that you... It's just going to be ten minutes of me. Yeah, just, a lot of... Please forgive me. Yes. Uh, I can't handle it. Mm-mm. Man, we were... Remember that time we was camping, and uh, well, you were little, but yeah. I think you still remember that rattlesnake we killed over there. Yeah, me and I'm about you stepped know, on him. Just about stepped on him, and I think I already had stepped on him in a hole earlier. That yeah. Day. Remember I stepped in a hole and went hip deep in it. Mm-hmm. You know, what probably, long after that, there he was. Yeah, probably smashed him. He was clearly injured, though, because he was not, he, I mean, we walked, I you know, less than 18 he, inches away he from him. He was about me if he was in that hole. Yeah. 
get too many close calls with snakes, and the older yeah. I get, the worse I get. I Knock on wood, I've never had a close call with a snake. Yeah. I've never been popped at anything yeah. like that, but I, I know that you have a couple I've times. I've actually been hit on the ankle by them. I've been, I put my hand on them. I've had them crawl out between my legs while I was fishing. I've had them go between my legs while I was fishing. No. And, man, I'm, I'm through with them. Yeah. I'm, I hate them. I do too. I don't. And you know, people, there's people in this world that love snakes and yeah. think that, you know, that think snakes are beautiful. Which mm -hmm. snakes are beautiful. They are. Over there. Yeah. Through really thick glass. Mm -hmm. They're pure, they're really pretty. But I mean, anything that'll bite the child or bite you, yeah. you know, the, that can kill you. That can kill you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, you know, anymore it's not that likely if you can get to the hospital, but hey, I don't yeah. want my youngest to be it. But, you I, don't know, want, I don't want me bit. Right. I don't want my wife bit. Even here, you know, yeah, we have a trauma center that has yeah. antivenom on staff, on tap and mm -hmm. that whatever. It's 45 minutes to the hospital. Yeah. Via ambulance. Yeah. I mean, 45 minutes is a long time with venom pumping in your in your brain. Not to mention the heart attack that I'm gonna have when he bites me. Yeah. And well, let me get touched about that. Yeah. Haynes you is know, gonna be they're gonna have some good business too. Yeah. Fruit of the loom going their stocks is gonna go not, up. Your mama ain't gonna be happy with uh -uh. it. Uh-uh. Um, but you know, I, I understand, you know, there's people in the world don't kill snakes and all, and people's gonna say, I can't believe y'all do. Yeah, good for Well, them. where I live, first of all, if I walk out in my yard and I see a snake there, right. I'm not gonna pick him up and move him. I'm not going to pick him up, period. And I'm not going to trust that he's going to move himself far enough away that I won't see him again. Right. So therefore, there's only one thing to do. Remington. Remington. I mean, the dog's going to be bit a couple times. You yeah. Know, I, just, I just... I, I think he's got brain damage because yeah. of... Well, he's laying there on the floor right now making yeah. funny noises. So yeah. There's a good possibility. <laughs> And if you hear it, if you hear background noise, we're performing in front of a live studio yeah, audience live again. Audience. Uh, Atlas and Mom is in here with us. And uh, mm -hmm. if you see a wildebeest walk through in front of the camera, you'll know that that's Atlas. Not Mom. Not, <laughs> not, not, not Mom. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she clarified it pretty Yeah, quick. she put that down. Right if I was drinking water, I would have. <laughs> yeah. In my defense, well, I, I thought water. about it, but I was like, no, nah, wait a minute. And you just let it go. Huh? Yeah. I wasn't even going to try it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, just be careful, y'all. Yeah. Uh, watch your pets, watch your kids, watch your feet. Yeah. Especially in the pond and all this time of year. They're yeah. everywhere. And if, you, uh, if you're a hiker or you, you find yourself in the woods a lot, you know, and you're the type of person that would enjoy the company of a nice handgun, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. Because, you know, you get yourself in a situation, and there's some of the snakes that we have around here are territorial, and if one of them gets after you or whatever, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and have a, a situation, have a, uh, a means of protection with you. Yeah. Of course, that, there's more reasons than just a snake to have that, but. <laughs> yeah, this day is fine. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll little, go into that. No, ain't gonna get into that. Yeah, or nice yeah. Kid. Or Along in the case of Daddy's, uh, in in Daddy's case, when we went, when we was camping, a uh, twenty-five foot long pine sapling. Hey, it's all there. Yeah, I it worked. Find that short. Worked good. Yeah. Then you got six inch stick yeah. or twenty-five foot when I'm going for the long one every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit I'm scared of snakes. Yeah. I don't like them. Don't like them at all. Nothing about them other than a pair of boots or a boat. Doesn't Makes me want to do like this, just talking yeah, about that's it. Right. Yucks me out. I'll turn into a big fat woman in a heartbeat. You know, we had a a, a snake in the shop. Yeah. yeah that's in our snake. own shop. Yeah, in my little shop out there where I do. I used to make knives and stuff like that yeah. in my little shop. And I went in there one year and I found this big old chicken snake. Yeah. Which people say chicken snakes, they won't, you know, they're not poisonous. And I know that. It doesn't matter a lot. It don't matter. For a year, that snake on that shop. Yeah. And he would not leave. I tried my best to run him out. I used mothballs. I used everything I needed to do. The snake wasn't going nowhere. Right. Which mothballs, well, let's... Go ahead and debunk, you know, let's go ahead and debunk that wives tale. Mothballs don't work. Well, I've seen uh, 
recently photos of a copperhead moccasin yeah. curled up by a pillar with a mothball right there at Yeah. A copperhead I mean, literally. Moccasin. Yeah, a copperhead. Yeah. Literally in the coal with it. So, I mean, I'm thinking that's Miss Debunk. Yeah. I oh, that's enough proof for me, you yeah. know. I mean, that's mothballs stink anyway, yeah. so I'm kind of out on them they already. They better than snake. Yeah. You know, they say copperhead smells like a, a cucumber. Right? Yeah. If you, I seen it on, on Facebook, and I actually researched into it a little bit more, and they say that if you smell, if you're walking through the woods or whatever, and you smell cucumber mm -hmm. for just no reason at all, yeah. that you're within striking distance of a copperhead. Either that or you have a salad in your pocket. Right. <laughs> <laughs> are, we you, are you walking through somebody's garden and stepping yeah. on a cucumber? Well, we won't go, way, we won't go in into the... <laughs> uh -oh. I won't go into the cucumber in your pocket, Joe. A salad. <laughs> we'll leave that one on the table. Yeah, just leave, leave it on drop it. <laughs> but anyway, they do say they smell like cucumber. I don't know. But, you know, Zach told me about that earlier, and I remember, you know, times to walk through the woods or somewhere and you get that cucumber smell yeah you know? it wasn't in anybody's garden were you no it wasn't in anybody's garden <laughs> and i didn't have a salad in my pocket yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you know we have like you've been swimming and, and, and water moccasins pop up on you and oh, yeah. water moccasins is probably the most territorial snake yeah, we have down now. here yeah yeah they, uh, people tell you they're not aggressive um, that's a lie. And I've seen times when they weren't very aggressive, and I have seen times when they came after me. Yeah. I used to wade fish a lot when I was younger. I'd get me, I'd just wade up and down the creek. We live close to the creek, and uh, I'd fish. And one yeah. day, why it happened, I don't know. I was fishing under a uh, treetop, catching big old red bellies and yeah. sunfish. And something told me to look. And mm -hmm. I turned around and looked, and there's a moxie coming right at me. So, needless to say, he, he could have the fishing yeah, trip. Yeah, he got the fishing trip that day. And uh, we were swimming one time, and there was soap stone. Yeah. And my brother was with me, and we pushed him off. Off soap stone, we played King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. And he went down and come back up, and when he did, under that soap stone was an undercut. And lo and behold, or blow in the hole, <laughs> there was a cottonmouth. Look at him. I mean, like, yeah. foot and a half away, looking at him dead in the eye. Mm. Man, I would just die right there. Yeah. Mm. And they say that copper, uh, a cottonmouth won't bite you underwater. Well. But, uh, we got a, well, yeah. I have an uncle. Yeah, that's You have a brother in law too. that will debunk that for you right quick. Yep. Yeah. He got bit on the foot. On in the water. On, in the water. On a, on a toe. They yeah. were doing a Cuban trip. And they had went through. I guess a place where they was treating them for there. And he was one of the last ones and he went through there and that snake bit him on the toe. Yeah. And uh, he stayed in the hospital about a week because it was so long between where he was at and getting right. to the hospital. And uh, it, it was rough on him. Mercy. So Cotton and I will bite you in the water. Absolutely. I, I also know other people that's happened to you. Seen no man got bit on the hand saying the one time. Yeah. Uh, his hand was underwater. Yeah, it's just snake season, people. Be aware. Yeah, uh, I hate snakes so yeah. much. All right, it, it, there's going to be a cut there, and uh, we want to apologize for that because, uh, well, we we lost audio for a second, but uh, I think we'll be I think we're back now. Uh, so if we if we, before right then if we sounded hollow or, or like we're in a bucket, we apologize for that. We we still learning all this. This is newfangled technology for us. And hey, trying to learn it all for us. It's only round two. They, yeah. They'll 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 understand. Yeah, hopefully so. Um, but yeah, snakes are just awful. Yeah, and fishing season coming up, which you know there ain't nobody in the world loves fishing more than we do. Right. Um, but if you're walking around these ponds or whatever, or just watch where you're walking. Um, rolling boats over around these ponds. Be careful. Yeah. And main thing, keep on your kids. I mean, because yeah. kids, they get out and play, and they don't think of little snakes. Right. You know, they get having a good time and um, run right up on them. You know, like I said, I've been in some close situations with snakes. I don't like them. No, not at all. And, uh, and uh, 
you know, continuing on with another thing that comes out this time of year, spiders. And that's yeah. another bad one for us. Yeah, uh, I'm a little more friendly to a spider than I am a snake. Not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, I I don't like neither one of them. Mm. Uh, spider don't bother me as bad as a snake. I mean, I don't get, I don't have spider hands like I do have snake right. hands. You know, I have snake hands real bad. Yeah, spider Mom, hands not so much. Mom is out when it comes oh yeah to, sn- she, to spiders. She definitely uh, she'll friend up with a snake a lot a lot quicker than yeah. a spider. Yeah, if I told her there's a snake and a spider, she's gonna yeah. run from the spider. Right. She'll take the snake <coughs> and kill the spider with it. Yep. Um. Yeah, I just, and I'm sorry to be that way, you yeah. know, about snakes, but I don't have a use for them. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm anti-snake, right. I guess you'd say. And, you know, I know all cre- all critters was created for a reason. Oh, yeah. And I know that I they have too. their place in the ecosystem mm-hmm. and everything like that, but. And like I said, you know, if they're not posing a threat to somebody, I don't have a problem right. with that. But if I see them in my yard or something, they got to right. go. In my ecosystem. Yeah, in my ecosystem, they ain't room for them. Right. And uh, I guess we can we can wrap it up here if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna like, have bad dreams now. I already yeah. all this talk about snakes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go and take a shower. I think I see one back there. Oh gosh, I'm just, <laughs> ugh, I can't handle it. There he is, right behind your head. Don't, don't coming do in the window. But, that uh, made you look. Yeah, but like I said, we apologize for the audio issue. We yeah, will, we have it resolved, uh, and uh, you know I hope that doesn't cause us to have any. You know, any loss in our subscribers, which, by the way, we appreciate the 27 of you so much. Oh, yeah. By that's, all means. Uh, that's so much more uh, we, That's so much more than we thought we'd have. Hey, that's all. And I mean, when we first started this, it was like, hey, if we get five, we, yeah, that's great. We're big timers. Yeah, we got 27. We're on yeah. top of the world. And uh, we, we would appreciate that if you see this, you know, through Related or whatever, and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our content. Jump over to our Facebook page and like us at DNZ Outdoors because there's yeah, going right. to be so much more to come. Yeah, we're going to try to do one of these a week. One of these least. a week, and uh, hopefully down the road we'll be able to get to where we can maybe make a, one of these a week and just a regular video or, or something yeah. like that to get some more content out there for you guys. But we appreciate the 27 of you that there there is out there. That's our last right, video got much. almost 100 views, and the one before that's almost 120. So that's amazing to me. Yeah, it really is. And, and uh, uh, it's 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 odd to know that there's 115 people that heard us talk on the internet. That's yeah, scary. It is scary. But we appreciate y'all. God bless you, and uh, thank you for watching yet one more time. We'll see y'all next time. Stop. <laughs>